Meet the Lotkes by Alan Silberberg. Meet the Lotke family. They're just like you and me, except they're potato pancakes. That's Lucy Lotke and her dog, Applesauce. Hello. Woof. Mama and Papa are busy in the kitchen making fried jelly donuts. Souf gagnon. Lucy's older brother, Lex, is reading comic books. Get out of my room, he shouts. Lex is a teenager. He doesn't care about anything. I don't care. But Lex should care, because... Tonight's the night, Lucy sings. It's the first night of Hanukkah. No, it's not. Oh, right. There's someone else in the Lotke family. Grandpa. Hi there. Tonight's not Hanukkah, Grandpa says. It's Hanukkah. That's what I said. Lucy's confused. Hanukkah. Grandpa grumbles. Say it with me. Hanukkah. Actually, both Hanukkah and Hanukkah are right. The holiday's name is Hebrew, so there are different ways to spell it and say it. Hanukkah, Hanukkah. Thanks, applesauce, says Lucy. <clears throat> says Grandpa. Getting ready for Hanukkah. Hanukkah! The Lotke family cooks and sings. Oh, oh dreidel, 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 dreidel. And decorates the house. Except for Lex. He still doesn't care about anything. I still don't care. Then, after the menorah is lit, and the dreidels are spun, and the gelt gets gobbled, Grandpa plops Lucy onto his lap. Do you want to hear about the miracle of Hanukkah, my little latke? I do, Lucy says, biting into her last chocolate coin. Grandpa begins with just a whisper. First, you need to know about the bees. Bees? Lucy asks. Grandpa nods. Hanukkah is a celebration of how the Jewish temple was saved from destruction. We celebrate this holiday thanks to the brave bees who buzzed and stung and fought to keep our people safe. I'm pretty sure there aren't any bees in the history of Hanukkah or Hanukkah. Feh, says Grandpa. Whose story is this? Lucy's eyes widen. Were the bees big, Grandpa? Big? They were huge, giant. They were mega bees. You mean maca bees? Nope, Grandpa says. Definitely mega bees. And the biggest, bravest of them all was Judah Mega Bee. Judah Mega Bee. He was a mighty warrior and heroic Jew who lived in Israel more than 2,000 years ago. And there were no bees. But Lucy can see it now. Judah and his swarm of giant bees, buzzing and stinging and fighting to save the Jewish temple and the lives of everyone who worshiped there. And who do you think Judah and his big bees were battling? Grandpa asked. That's easy. It was... Alien potatoes from planet H. Grandpa booms. No, yes! This is ridiculous. Zip, zap, Zawawi, Grandpa continues. Out of space, spuds invaded Earth, lasers shot from their eyes, and they had a lot of eyes. Everyone was doomed. Help! Are you kidding me? The enemy wasn't a bunch of alien potatoes. It was a terrible king named Antiochus. Antiochus demanded that everyone believe in the same religion as he did. Applesauce goes on. So for Jews... That meant no more studying Torah, no more celebrating Shabbat, and never again worshiping God. King Antiochus and his followers almost completely destroyed the Jewish temple. No, 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 no. He was a tyrant. Yup. Yes, a tyrant, agrees Grandpa. Judah and the Mega Bees were trapped in those evil tater tyrants from planet Ch. Prisoners in their own hive. They had only enough honey to last one day. Running out of honey? No, they were running out of oil. They needed oil to keep the temple's eternal flame burning. Shh. And they weren't bees. 
The Mega Bees plotted and schemed, Grandpa says. And the next morning, when the sun rose in the temple, an enormous wooden dreidel stood in the village square. What could it be? The alien potatoes all wondered. And why does it buzz? Lucy waves her arms. I know! The Mega Bees were hiding inside the dreidel! Smart lot key, cries Grandpa. Plitz, plats, plots. The Mega Bees burst from the dreidel and sliced and whipped and mashed those tater tyrants into ta tatters. Tattered tater tyrants? Lucy asks. Try saying that three times fast, Grandpa says. Tatter tatter tyrants, tatter tatter tyrants, tatter tatter tyrants. And then, miracle of miracles, Grandpa says. Judah Mega Bee stood in the middle of those spoiled spuds. What a waste, he said. And so that great warrior added some egg and onion and a pinch of flour to make something good from the bad potato latkes. Us? Us. Oi. Lucy's eyes and mouth were open wide. So the miracle of Hanukkah? Is that a long time ago, Mega Bees turned alien potatoes into latkes? Is that really true? Of course it's not true! The miracle of Hanukkah is that not only did the small group of Maccabees protect their temple from King Antiochus's powerful army, but also the tiny bit of oil left to light the holy menorah didn't last just for one day. That oil kept the eternal light bright for eight whole days. Lucy points to her family's glowing menorah. Eight candle holders, eight days of the Hanukkah miracle, and the shamus, the tallest candle, to light all the others. You know what, says Grandpa. I like the dog's miracle better. Me too, says Mama. Me too, says Papa. I don't care says Lex, stuffing his face with chocolate guilt. Lex, you left your room, cries Mama. It's another Hanukkah miracle! Hanukkah! Hanukkah. Grandpa pats applesauce. Now that we all know the Hanukkah story, he gives a wooden dreidel a little spin. Who wants to hear about Passover? The story of Hanukkah, or Hanukkah, a long time ago, a tyrannical king named Antiochus tried to destroy the Jewish religion and everyone who believed in it. A group of Jews known as the Maccabees fought back and won. They took back their temple from Antiochus' army, but when they went to rededicate the temple's lamp, they found that they only had a tiny amount of oil left, not enough to keep the lamp lit for more than one day. The miracle of Hanukkah was that this tiny amount of oil lasted for eight days, which is why some refer to the holiday as the Festival of Lights. Antiochus, Syrian ruler from 175 to 164 BCE, he waged battle against the Jewish people and tried to outlaw all Judaic laws and customs. Antiochus' army destroyed Jewish temples and brutally forced Jews to worship pagan, idols, and gods. Dreidel, a four-sided spinning top used in a traditional Hanukkah game. Each side has a different Hebrew letter that signals a different outcome. Gelt, Yiddish word for money. During Hanukkah, gelt usually refers to chocolate coins. Israel, the biblical holy land. Latki, a potato pancake fried in oil, typically enjoyed on Hanukkah with applesauce and sour cream. Maccabees, the Jews who fought back against Antiochus. Menorah, candelabra with eight candle holders, one to represent each night of Hanukkah, plus a ninth candle holder for the shamus, which is the extra candle used to light the others. Passover, a springtime holiday that commemorates the Jews' liberation from slavery in ancient Egypt. Shabbat, the Jewish hol holy day that begins every Friday at sundown. Sufganyon, another Hanukkah delicacy. These are round jelly donuts that are deep fried and covered in powdered sugar. Temple, 
a holy building where Jews go to pray. Torah, the Jewish holy scroll, also known as the five books of Moses, 